Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I am a program specialist at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Today for Wonder Zone, we're going to be doing an activity called Hot and Cold Colors. In this activity, we will explore how temperature affects the movement of water. To do this activity at home, you need three clear glasses, Food coloring, I think that dark colors tend to work better. You're gonna need cold water, room temperature water, and hot water. Your hot water doesn't need to be boiling, but it should be pretty warm. So you wanna make sure while handling hot water, you have adult supervision or adult help just to make sure we don't have any accidents. All right, so in today's activity, what we're going to do is we are going to take food coloring and we're going to add it to water of different temperatures. And we're going to see which water allows the food coloring to disperse or totally mix in quickest. So once you've filled your glasses, I like to put mine in order from cold to warm to hot. And that way I don't forget which water is which. Once you've filled your glasses, you're going to add your food coloring. And you're gonna to wanna to do this as quickly as possible because we don't wanna give one water a lot more time to mix in than another water. So quickly I'm gonna add two drops of color to each cup and then we are going to make an observation. And an observation is just what you notice or what you can see happening. So my first observation when I'm looking in is that in my cold water, both the drops kind of sunk to the bottom. Here in my warm water, my room temperature water, it's kind of mixing in a little bit. And in my hot water, it seems to be moving around a little more at the bottom and coming back up to the top. So we'll give this a second to mix in and we will check back in. All right, so if you're looking at your water, you might be able to tell that our hot water is moving a little bit quicker. The food coloring is moving through the water faster than it is through a cold and room temperature water. Now, you might be wondering why that happens, and I'm here to help you figure that out. Our hot water has more heat energy than our cold water and our room temperature water, and that energy causes the water to move around quicker. All of the tiny, tiny pieces that make the water up, the molecules, are bouncing around really, really fast. And as those are moving, they're carrying the food color throughout the water and allowing the food coloring to mix in. So that's one reason, but there is a second reason. There's also convection currents in our hot water. And that just means that hot water is rising to the top and cold water is sinking to the bottom. And as the cold water sinks, more hot water rises. And that creates a loop in our water and that allows the food coloring to mix in even faster. So that's it for this experiment. If you want to take it a step further at home, you can experiment using different temperature water. You can add ice to your water. You could try with a lot of um, supervision, boiling water, and you can also test using different food colorings and see if it takes one food coloring longer to mix in than another one. All right, don't forget to tune in for our next Wonder Zone video for more fun, hands-on learning.